All right, let's add two and a half avocados plus three and a half avocados. Now, if you're gonna add three and a half avocados to two and a half avocados, you just need to add the two and the three. That's, let's park it, but that's five avocados. Two plus three, five. And if we have half of an avocado plus half of an avocado, well, that's easy. Put them together. That's a whole avocado. So let's go back to what we parked. We parked five avocados, and now we still have one whole avocado. So five and one. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. That's six avocados. So your answer is six avocados. Remember, kids, add or subtract whole numbers together and add or subtract fractions together when they have the same denominator. Two thirds of a banana plus four thirds of a banana. <laughs> Remember, whole numbers go together and the fractions go together, especially when the fractions have the same denominator. Okay, now, three thirds is equal to one. That means if you have two, two whole bananas, well, that's the same thing as six thirds. Okay, so we are looking at six thirds plus a third plus four thirds. Okay, well, what's six and one and four? Yeah, it's 11. So, 11 thirds. That's good news for us. We can put that back into a whole number if we want. We can say, okay, we got how many thirds here? We've got 11 thirds and three thirds is equal to one. So that's three whole numbers plus two thirds, three and two thirds, or you could say 11 thirds. Either one's okay. I've got it. A new banana pudding recipe. And no, two thirds of a cup plus five thirds of a cup of pickle juice. You need to add about another third of a cup of pickle juice. Let's look at five fourths plus 10 fourths. Now, if we just recognize that we are working with like denominators, four downstairs, four downstairs, check. We can combine like fractions. Five fourths plus 10 fourths. That's gonna give us, well, since the fourths are the same across the board, five plus 10, 15 fourths. 15 fourths. Now remember, four fourths, that's equal to one. So every time you have a whole number, that's four fourths. Four quarters in one whole number. So two whole numbers, okay, that's eight quarters. Three whole numbers, that's 12 quarters. Oh, okay, so if you have 15 quarters, you're talking about three whole numbers plus three quarters. Three, a tomato, what's going on there? Get out of there, banana. Banana. Three and three quarters. That's the same thing as 15 fourths. Be sure to subscribe, watch full length episodes below, and God bless. Okay, you're gonna have to use the least common denominator here, but first things first, remember what Uncle Bob said. You add the whole numbers together. All right, so three halves, that's really one and a half. And then three and two thirds. Okay, so you're gonna park the one and the three together. One plus three, that's four. You're gonna park that. Here's our problem here. We have one half and two thirds. They're not the same fraction, look at that. One half is not the same thing as a third. So when you have a half and two thirds, you can't add these fractions together. They're not the same fraction. That's like trying to add bananas and tomatoes. You can't do it. A banana is not a tomato, and a tomato is not a banana. <laughs> banana, the least common denominator of banana and banana is banana. The least common denominator of three and two, you may recall, is six. That's right the least common denominator. So, we are going to convert these bananas. No, we don't want bananas. The good news is one half is equal to three sixth. Banana, come on banana, get on out of here. But the LCD or least common denominator of three and two is six. 
And so we can convert here this one third into two sixths. They are the same. One third is equal to two sixths. So one half plus two thirds, we're gonna convert using the least common denominator here of six 